Ladies and gentlemen, she could not look me in the eye as she narrated her ordeal these past few days. Tears rolled down her cheeks. The attempt to go back home in the wake of restrictions imposed by the president has been full of frustrations. Our woes were many at that point. The vehicle was low on fuel, the car was faulty, and our driver had been beaten as he tried to smuggle us out of a car. I met Nafisa again on Wednesday afternoon at her new sleeping place, a shelter that had been provided by government. She was not crying this time. Rather, she was beaming with smiles and full of praise. I'm truly relieved now. For the past three days, my mother has been sobbing bitterly. Today I told her to stop crying. The battle is over. Government has come to our aid. Even though she slept rough on the first day, that has changed. She's benefited from NADMO's relief items, which includes mattresses, mosquito nets and caps. Director General of NADMO, Eric Ajman Prempe, said the move was only part of a big national agenda. Ashanti region where there are other places also we have identified some other places so we go in everywhere wherever we find Ghanaians who as a result of this lockdown are in dire need we need to give them relief and that's exactly what we're doing. Minister for Gender, Children and Social Protection Cynthia Morrison highlighted the need to enforce the rule on social distancing due to the high numbers. The adults are 47 with their children we are getting too close to 100 or so but the only thing is that a, a mother to, will sleep with a child. And we are showing them how to do the social separation. So that if the mother's head is facing this way, the child will face the other way so that they don't heal you know, the things from each other. For Nashira, another porter, the goodies they received were too good to be true. We didn't even have water to drink. Upon arrival here, we have been fed. There's enough to drink. We've had our baths and visited the washroom free of charge. It had been five days since I last had a bath. We're truly grateful. She wore a broad smile, something she had not done in a long time. PSC Nana Yao Safo, Joy News.